Let us now look at the other important aspect of um, curriculum management, which is about now zooming into the responsibilities of each of those structures that we have made reference to in the previous instances in this particular video. So now we're going to start with the educator or the teacher. And the teacher is responsible for ensuring that the lesson is being delivered as per the ATP and uh, the feedback is provided to learners in terms of the classwork or the homework that might have been given to those uh, particular learners. And this is something that we expect to happen each and every day. So this is part of the responsibilities of the teacher in the process of curriculum management in a school. And secondly, the teacher is expected to make sure that he or she re reports on the progress towards the ATP. And this report should be formalized whereby it is submitted to the HOD maybe on a fortnight basis in terms of the amount of work that has been uh, covered. The, th the third aspect about the responsibility of the teacher in terms of curriculum management is to make sure that uh, learners are assessed as per the subject assessment guideline. Remember, each and every subject has a subject policy document that speaks to the process of how learners should be assessed in that particular subject. So it is the responsibility of the teacher to make sure that there is adherence when it comes to what the policy document of that particular subject indicates. And the process of the assessment should take place as per the school assessment plan that uh, has been developed. Remember earlier we spoke about having uh, planning um, as one of those important uh, management uh, uh, cycle stages which is important to ensure that you have a, a school assessment plan. So learners will be assessed based on the plan that is um, indicated according to the school assessment plan. This is also going to assist to ensure that parents know about when learners are going to be assessed because they shall have been provided with the school assessment plan. So the educator um, is responsible to assess learners as per the um, school assessment plan and as per the expectations when it, is, when it comes to the subject policy document when it, uh, we look into assessment. And fourthly, it's about the educator ensuring that uh, he or she provides re remediation after having conducted the diagnostic analysis of learner performance on the assessment. So that is the responsibility of the teacher that after a formal assessment has been administered, there should be analysis of the results that came from that particular assessment to zoom into problematic aspects of the topics that learners might not have performed well in those uh, topics or that content. It, thereafter, if there is a need, the teacher is going to develop a subject improvement plan which is informed by the analysis of the formal task that shall have been conducted whereby the teacher comes with, with an item analysis or error analysis uh, of that particular uh, formal assessment. And that should happen at the end of each and every assessment, there should be an analysis of the um, performance of learners in that particular formal assessment with the view of in intervening if there's a need to support some of the learners who may not have done well in that particular assessment. If you are enjoying the video and you want to see your school being successful when it comes to this process of curriculum management, I invite you to remain seated because I still have more strategies and more information to share in terms of how we can implement curriculum management processes in our schools to ensure the maximum performance of our learners. Right, as we move along uh, looking into the process of curriculum management, now we're going to zoom into the responsibilities of the head of department in terms of the curriculum management process. Okay, what is it that the curriculum um, uh, responsibilities of the HOD is uh, in terms of this particular process? The first one is about to check the teacher preparedness to deliver the lesson as per 
as the syllabus or the ATP. So that is the responsibility of the HOD to make sure that that particular process of checking the preparedness of the teachers is uh, happening. And that should happen possibly um, on a weekly basis to check on whether teachers have lesson plans in place. Are they planning? Okay. To, before they go to class, do they sit down and plan and have a, a lesson plan that speaks to the content that is going to be taught in the classroom. So that is the responsibility of the HOD to ensure that that particular aspect is happening. And secondly, is to report on the progress towards the uh, syllabus. That is all about ensuring that uh, um, the HOD reports on the progress in terms of the subject that he or she is responsible for managing. And this particular reporting should be done um, in such a way that uh, the report is formalized and submitted to the deputy principal um, which is going to outline exactly how much content different teachers in the department have covered in terms of what is expected uh, when we look at what is indicated in the policy. And then the third uh, important um, uh, responsibility in terms of the HOD in the curriculum management process is to monitor the implementation of subject assessment plans and track the learner performance to ensure that whenever there is a need for remediation it's taking place. So it is the responsibility of the departmental head to manage that particular process because if we have an assessment plan which is not being followed it is just as good as not having it. So if the HOD see to it that uh, they manage that particular process. It's going to assist to make sure that um, the assessment plan is being followed. And uh, after each and every assessment has been um, uh, administered, the, the, the HOD is going to check and see that uh, the assessment really assesses what is supposed to be assessed as per the policy of that particular subject. And uh, the next aspect is about ensuring that there is internal uh, uh, moderation processes of um, those assessments. So the expectation is that before the assessment is administered, there should be the process of pre-moderating that particular uh, assessment to ensure that uh, it, it, it is of a good standard in terms of what is expected uh, from that particular assessment. The issue of ensuring that the cognitive levels, as indicated in the subject policy document, have been covered according to the percentages that are expected. Because we don't want to have a situation whereby learners are subjected to a, an assessment which is only made up of similar types of questions. So we need to ensure that the different um, levels of questioning is incorporated in a formal assessment. So that is the responsibility of the HOD to ensure that something like that is happening, right? Uh, moving right along, the next one is to monitor a sample of uh, learners' workbooks, which is about looking at uh, the homework to validate against the syllabus or the ATP, okay? This is all about checking the syllabi completion in terms of what is supposed to be completed in a particular period of time. So um, that is the responsibility of the HOD to ensure that that kind of an activity as part of curricular management is taking place um, in a school to ensure that things run smoothly. And lastly, in terms of the responsibilities of the um, HOD is to make sure that he or she conducts uh, subject meetings to provide direction to the teachers, okay? because you would understand that uh, there are always latest developments in education. So therefore, it is very important that teachers are kept posted or updated in terms of um, what is it that is new in the subject. If teachers are having challenges or experiencing problems in terms of when they implement curriculum, they need to discuss that in a departmental meeting and as a team, they are going to assist one another in terms of how to teach some of the concepts, how to assess and uh, also make sure that whatever is not clear is being cleared in that particular meeting. I would like to um, invite you to comment below in terms of how do you manage curriculum in your institution. I think it is important for us to share common good practices 
uh, that we implement in our institutions to guarantee the maximum uh, success in, when it comes to academic performance of our learners. Thank you very much. We have enjoyed being with you today in this particular video. We are likely to see you in the future. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that whenever we release new videos in the future, you can get the notification. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.